I got into barbering? Well, I've been cutting hair for about 10 years now. And I was doing a unisex hairdressing. My clients slowly decreased from women's side into full-time doing men's. I left my old shop, started working in the barber shop, and here we are now. I've noticed pretty much that barbering has become like a new wave fashion. Um, a lot of people are kind of jumping on the bandwagon at the moment. It's kind of bringing back that gentry tradition and fashion of, you know, being in a man's environment, you know, surrounded by other people that have similar interests. There's a lot of new names coming out at the moment. We've got the Scumbag Boogie, we've got the Low Contours, the Pompadours. Um, some of them revert back to traditional 1950s styles. The Pompadour was made famous by Elvis, Johnny Cash. These are all things that are kind of slowly coming back in, but I think the new names that are kind of given to the styles are pretty much, you know, back then you had one style, now there's so many, they kind of have to be given. Giving someone self-satisfaction, um, making them feel good about themselves, you know, they sit in the chair, they might not have been having the best day, they might have had a, you know, a bad day at work an argument with the missus and they come into the chair and they'll talk to you about it. You know, you're not just a barber, you're a psychologist or something. And it's quite nice that people have, like, have that kind of trust in their barber that they will tell you their darkest secrets. If someone's been in your chair three times, they're your client. Once you've done that, you'll have them for life, as long as you keep them happy the whole time. So it's a hobby, you know, like, you can have anything up to 19 clients in a day. You don't turn up, You've messed up 19 people today. And I quite enjoy the fact that, you know, you have so much involvement in that person's life that you could do that.